G'day plant friends and welcome back to Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, the channel here on YouTube where I am growing avocado trees from seed to the point of bearing fruit whilst documenting the process and talking about growing avocados along the way. And I get lots of questions about growing avocados and I'm going to answer one of them today. Let's get to it. If you've got avocado problems, ask Scott. Daniel asks, I've been a little busy and haven't been able to do much with my plant. I started the seed in August of last year and it's not exactly a foot or so, that's why I haven't pruned it. Nor have I planted it because honestly I'm new and scared to lose it, but I know I'm not helping it by not doing anything. Daniel and I had a little bit of a chat and he was really asking about when to prune it and when to plant it. So we're going to answer those questions today. First of all, have a look at Daniel's tree and look at all of those roots. Now notice the white ones there. They are the healthy ones. They are the good ones. They're the ones that are alive. Notice there are also some darker ones that happen sometimes. Sometimes a seed will put out roots, then they will die. That's okay though. But what about pruning and what about planting? Well, if you're a long time watcher of Scott Grows and Avocado Tree, you may have noticed that most of the trees that I have pruned, I have pruned while they were in soil. Does that mean I waited to plant them before pruning? Uh, no. The trees that I pruned in soil were started in soil. I planted those seeds directly in the soil. I didn't use the water and truthing method with them. On this channel, I have also pruned trees while they were still in water. But if you start it in water, can you plant it and then prune it? Well, yes, but timing is something to consider. First of all, let's talk about pruning. Why would you want to prune it? You've grown this avocado tree. Why do you want to cut it? Well, pruning is a fantastic way to encourage growth in plants. When you prune a plant, and that's not just avocado trees, but it includes avocado trees, it essentially puts the plant into crisis mode where it will expend a huge amount of energy into producing new tissue growth. Pruning essentially has the ability to give your plant a growing power up. In trees, it encourages thicker stems, it encourages branching, and it encourages more leaves, which in turn will make it a stronger tree. More leaves will mean that it's able to photosynthesize more, to produce more energy, to produce more growth, to produce more leaves, to produce more energy. It's a cycle. And not pruning your avocado trees will generally result in long, tall, lanky, weak, flimsy trees. So pruning is a great idea to help your trees out. But when do I prune my trees? Well, I generally wait till they're around six months. It doesn't matter if they're older or younger than that though, really, when they are about 20 or 30 centimeters tall. When they get to that point, I will find a node about halfway up the trunk and I'll essentially Cut it in half, down to about 15 centimetres. And that may feel brutal, but in the long run, it actually doesn't matter too much. Take, for example, this three-year-old tree. Now, when it was about six months old, I gave it a prune. And as you can see now, it's doing absolutely fine. If you look really closely, you can see a scar where it was pruned. But other than that, you can barely tell it's doing quite well. You can also see this one-year-old tree. It's a little more noticeable because it hasn't quite straightened out like the other one, but it's still doing very well. But what about planting the seed? Both of those trees I pruned while they were still in water. If you've raised your avocado seeds, your saplings in water with toothpicks or just floating in water, you might want to plant it first. Is that okay? Can you do that? You might be wondering if you should prune it before or after you plant it. Well, it doesn't really matter if you prune it before or after you plant it, but if you prune it after you plant it, timing is pretty important. If you haven't lost any of your roots in the process of planting it, which you probably won't when you plant it from water into soil, to give it the best chance of growing well, you're going to want to let the roots settle and grow before you do any pruning. Transplanting or planting is a stressful time in the life of a plant, and it takes time for the roots to settle in again. If you plant it and then immediately prune it, your tree is going to go into emergency mode where it's going to try and produce more tissue above the soil line to be able to produce energy. But if it hasn't grown that root system for support yet, 
it's going to be open to vulnerabilities. You're much more likely to see health problems in your tree if you don't let those roots settle in, heal and grow first. There are times where you might need to prune a tree while you plant it, but that's only if you've lost a significant amount of your root mass, which so that it can't actually support the tree. But when you're planting a new tree, probably not going to be an issue. So once the roots have settled in, give it about a month and then you can go ahead and prune. For the trees that I raise in water, I will let them get to 20 or 30 centimetres tall, then I will prune them back to 15 centimetres. After that, I will wait for them to get to 20 or 30 centimetres in height again, then I will transplant them. If you want to plant first, which is fine, give it at least a month before pruning. Also, try to avoid pruning avocado trees in the winter time. They have a dormancy period where they will essentially go to sleep. They won't lose their leaves, they're not deciduous, but they will have a period where they're not producing as much energy. Especially with young trees, if you prune them in the spring or summer, you're going to give them as much time to grow as you can. So with young trees, wait until spring and summer, or at least warmer months before you do your pruning. To summarise, pruning is a fantastic thing to do for your avocado trees, but don't do it immediately after planting them. If you are needing some advice about the soil that you might want to use to plant your avocado trees, or how to plant your avocado trees, I've left some links in the description below videos where I show you my soil mix and planting an avocado tree. If you have an avocado question that I haven't already answered here on Scott Grows an Avocado Tree, please feel free to get in contact with me on Instagram at Scott Grows an Avocado Tree. There is a small chance that I'll respond. I get a lot of questions, but if I get some questions, I will do my best to make videos in the future answering them. I kind of get a couple of dozen questions a week, so I'm not going to get to all of them. If you like this video, I'd love to know. Please let me know with that like button and let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below. If you haven't already subscribed to Scott Grows an Avocado Tree and you are enthusiastic about avocado trees, please do so. Turn on notifications as well so as not miss any future updates. Thanks once again for watching and I will see you next time. Scott Bum. grows an avocado tree. Bum. Scott Bum. grows an avocado tree. Bum. Scott Bum. grows an avocado tree. Scott grows an avocado tree.